Halima! 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 Get in the sofa! They are coming! Stand up! I'm tired! Yalla, stand up! Let's go, please! Let's go! Let's go, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Okay, okay, let's go! Mama Aisha, another witch don't do this our camp. I notice. <laughs> Not the only you notice. I notice. Mm. What is her name? Her name now Halima. Halima? That girl a witch. She's always on her own. She has no friends. She talks to no one. The worst of it is that she's always screaming in the middle of the night. Screaming? Hmm? Two days ago, it was, help me, help me. Help me! Yesterday. Why me? Why me? Why me? Today's own was worse. She was saying, kill me! Huh? Kill me! Allah. Kill me! That's what she was saying. Mama Aisha, Mama we yes. need to send that girl out of this camp. Immediately. Before she uses that her algeno spirit to affect everybody in this camp. Lying. Mama Aisha, you need to tell Aisha not to play with that girl. That witch. How will not take no say na wish? Eh? How will not take no? It be like two of them no get work. And Gulma Kawai. Mama Blikis, let's go. That girl now witch. She's a witch. They are witch, they know witch now. Not be witch, they know witch. And Gulma Matsiachi Kawai. Just going about, they, they spoil people's name. God, I'm so hungry and tired. God, please help me. Halima, Halima, Erbaba. Baba. Mmm. Yo, son, no, Halima, Kiki. Where did you go to? I went to the farm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I knew you were looking for me since school. Mm -hmm. I knew. Uh, I went to the farm. I wanted to tell you something. What is it? Tell me. <laughs> Halima, Erbaba. Don't worry, we'll discuss that later, okay? Now I want to go and lie down and rest. Hmm? And when your mother comes, tell her not to disturb me. Go. Now go there. Now go there. Go. Let me go and rest. Halima, Halima, Kena. Step Baba. What's it they worry you? You know, go your boyfriend has made you go die for there. Which kind of rubbish is this? This one is mad. I better come off the road, make people pass. Rubbish. This is what I do. It purely keeps body and soul together. This is where I call home now. A place where many people are looking for an escape. 
from their trauma and their lives. Some men find solace in taking drugs and some women selling their bodies. Like a frog in the gutter, many of us are just passing time, wasting away without hope. Why does this always happen to me? Dear God, I can't continue like this. I'm losing my mind. I feel so alone. Help me. Anyone. Halima! Halima! Inakwana! To, mna amata magana maa batadamuda mtumba. Thank you very much, Auntie Fedora. With this mental health skills, well, now don't teach me so, eh? Mr. Gofi, power the youth for my community. No, man, na empower. Eh, okay. I go empower them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, young lady, please come. Shall you go drink water? Drink her. Take her easy now. Talk to me. I didn't hear to listen to you. Talk to me. Why should I talk to you? You're just like the rest of them. If I different, you no go know if you not try me. Talk to me. I did here to listen to you. You feel talk about anything. Maybe the way life don't treat you. Or as you they feel right now. Or even why your eyes swell up like this. You be like say you don't cry too much. I feel like I've been left in a dark, cold and lonely place. I feel like the weight of the world is upon me. Tell me, Halima, I did listen. My family was killed by a terrorist. And I was raped next to the cold, dead bodies of my own brothers. My, 
my own brothers. All my life I've been abused and tossed around for as long as I can remember. I can't even find something good to do for myself. The last thing I had was taken away from me by COVID. Now I wash plates at a food vendor shop. The war against terrorism may stop today, tomorrow, or even next year. But the war in my mind seems to be there forever. And I'm just so tired. I feel so alone. Every day, every day, every day is a struggle for me. I keep thinking, I keep asking myself, when is it going to end? I'm just so tired. Sorry. Huh? Cry if not cry, you need to do now. Eh? Make you cry. <laughs> See, I dare here for you. I promise you, you know day alone. I dare here for you, eh? Cry. <laughs> Sandra, I started work this week at the IT firm. I would not have been here if not for you, God, and the digital and coding skills that I learned in the friendship tent. I can actually build a website for your fish business right now. And Sandra, since you started talking to me, I have been happier and my bad dreams no longer wake me up. Thank you for holding my hands through the darkness. You were my first real friend in the IDP camp. You have made such an impact in my life. I may not be the best poet, but I have written this for you, and I hope you like it. When everyone gave up on me, you did not. You held my arms and took me to the friendship tent where your words changed my life forever. In the friendship tent, just like in your arms, I felt safe and free to share my troubles. My depression melted away like a burning candle every single day. And you made me realize that I am not alone. Everybody needs a safe place. And you are my safe place. Thank you, Auntie Sandra. I love you. Oh, 